Now, what if on an exam you were given something like this, where they say, draw the most stable and least stable Newman projection of one chloropropane. So the first thing I would want to do is draw the bottom line stretch of a pro uh, for one chloropropane. So starting with my parent chain, well, propane is just three carbons. So this is, this is propane, and then I have a chloro on the first carbon. Right, so after that, essentially what you want to do now is identify your front and back carbon. So I'm going to say this is my front, right, this will be my back carbon. Now the second thing, so subsequently after that, you want to identify what is bonded to these carbons. So be careful. On the front carbon, I have two hydrogens bonded to a chlorine. Right, and we kind of could just like draw in the hydrogens just for, just for sake, right? We have two hydrogens around this carbon and a chlorine bonded to it. On the back carbon, we have a methyl group and two hydrogens, right? So subsequently after that, here's the, I'm going to use a ruler, guys, because I want to make it look good, but here's the, the rationale behind new one projection. So the first thing you want to do, is draw a, a line, right? And that is going to be branched off both ways, right? Branched off both ways, yes, all right? So for every molecule, there's all there's always three staggered, and this is what is called a staggered um, conformation. The staggered conformation is always better than an eclipse, which we'll talk about which we'll talk about in a minute, right? Staggered conformation is always better than an eclipse. All right. To get the least stable, we'll have to draw the eclipse. So this right here, drawing this right here, always represents your front carbon. So here's what I'm going to do. On my front carbon, we already said there's a two hydrogens bonded to uh, with a chlorine. So I'm going to put my chlorine here, and it doesn't really matter. I could have put my hydrogen, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to put my hydrogens here, I'm going to put my hydrogens here. On the same thing, I'm going to do a chlorine here. I'm not going to change my front carbon, and that is very important. Right? So everything on the front carbon stays the same. Now, all you want to do is draw a big circle. A big circle. A big circle. Right? So for the standard confirmation, it always goes like this. There is a branch here, there is a branch here, and there's one branch down here. Same thing for over here. The branch here, branch here, and a branch here. Same thing go over here. There's a branch here, a branch here, and a branch here. Now, here's the part that I want you guys to visualize. On my back carbon, I have a methyl group and two hydrogens. So here's what I'm going to do. I could place them anywhere for the first one. So I'm going to put my methyl group here, which is a CH3. I'm going to put one of the hydrogens here, and I could put the other hydrogens here. Now, all you want to do for the next three, kind of think of the back as a, you know, this kind of wheel or ship wheel that you could just turn. Click, click, click. All you want to do is rotate the back carbon. So y'all, well not the back carbon, but all you want to do is rotate, yeah, actually the back carbon, but that's all you want to do, you want to rotate it, right? So so, 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 so to get the other uh, confirmation, this hydrogen will come here, this hydrogen will go here, and this method will go up here. All I'm doing is just rotating it. So again, this CH3 will come here, will come up here, this hydrogen will go over here, and this hydrogen will come down here. All right, this hydrogen will come down here. So this will be a hydrogen here. Subsequently after that, I just want to rotate it one more time. So this method will now come over here. So this now will be a CH3. So this methyl comes over here. This hydrogen comes down here. So there's a hydrogen here. And then this hydrogen go, goes over here and take the methyl's place. So all I'm doing is rotating. You never want to change the, the arrangement of the front carbon. So now I have this, which one is my most stable? Well, we have what is called Gauss conformation. We have steric strain, we have torsional strain. 
the Gauss conformation is when non-bonding or non-hydrogen atoms are kind of too close together that they cost so much energy. So there's one Gauss strain here, all right, because there's two non-hydrogens being so close, right? We also have one over here, right? So we could definitely see that this will be your most stable. Why? Because the two non-bonding hydrogen um, groups are actually anti-parallel. See, the methyl group is all the way over here. Chlorine is all the way on the other side, all the way over there. So they are far apart as possible. So there's no strain here. And so this will be the actual best conformation, uh, the most stable conformation for, for one chloropropane. Now let's look at the worst, right? To get the worst, we always draw what is called the eclipse version. So again, nothing changes. I'm going to draw a line first to represent in, in, in two branches. To represent kind of like isopropyl kind of like think of it but uh, two branches all right and this is where we're going to introduce the eclipse version eclipse version now just a quick thought the difference between you know torsional and steric strain steric strain is when you have two non-bonded hydrogen groups um, being so close together so right so right here where you have gauche you actually have a steric strain Right, because there's two hydrogen, you know, atoms kind of, you know, being so close together that they cause so much energy. Here is also a steric strain. Right, there's no steric strain here. Now, torsional strain is just you're making atoms kind of forcing atoms to occupy the same space, and we're going to see torsional uh, strain here when we draw the eclipse versions. So again, same as the top, I'm going to keep my front carbon the same. So I'm going to have a chlorine here, hydrogen here, hydrogen here. Right. A chlorine here, hydrogen here, hydrogen here, hydrogen here, you know, hydrogen here, and a chlorine here. All right, I'm gonna draw my big circle, big circle, circle are kind of horrible, but bear with me, guys. I'm human. All right, so here's the thing with the eclipse version. As opposed to the staggered conformation where you have two kind of, you know, lines up in the front, the eclipse version actually has one line up front and two on the bottom. So here will be one. On the bottom, there will be two branched off. All right. Here will also be one. On the bottom, there's two branched off. Here will also be one. On the bottom, there's two branched off. So this is the, the just the general formula or the general look of the eclipse version. Now, like the top, all I'm gonna do is just rotate, right? So starting anywhere, I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend like this hydrogen is, is is I'm gonna move this hydrogen over here, right? Which will force this hydrogen to come down here and this methyl to go over here, right? So again, the hydrogen that was over there on the staggered conformation, I'm just going to flip it over here and put this hydrogen here, right? The other hydrogen that was that, that was here will come down here, right? So this will be hydrogen, and then the methyl group will just flip here, right? Which will be C3H, right? So once I'm done with that, all I do is just rotate. So again, the methyl group will now come on top and take the hydrogen in place, which will be a CH3. The hydrogen will come down. The hydrogen will come down, and, and this will be, you know, the hydrogen will come down, which will be hydrogen, and, and and this hydrogen will just flip over here and take the methyl group, which will be H, right? And again, I'm just gonna rotate one more time. So methyl will come down here, CH3. The hydrogen will just rotate over there, and, and um, the last hydrogen will just come up top. And take the methyls and take the methyls place, right? So this is the eclipse version of one chloropropane. Now, which one is the worst? Right? It's going to be this one. Why? You see how these non-hydrogen atoms are so close to each other. So again, this is what we call torsional strain. 
because again you're you're forcing you know two hydrogen atoms or or basically two you know yeah you basically you're forcing two hydrogen atoms to occupy the same space so this is what we call torsional strain so you actually have also have torsional strains here within these bonds um these atoms forcing atoms groups of atoms non bonded non hydrogen atoms to occupy the same space this is a gosh but this is also whoa too much steric strain all right so there's a whole lot of stuff going on with this one all right let's look at the others again the chlorine and ca 3 is, is you know a good distance apart over here the same thing they're a good distance apart over here whoa 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 whoa, whoa. mama mia these are horrible that this is just the worst thing so again that's how you would draw the best and the you know the most stable and the least stable confirmation of one chloropropane.